By the end of this lesson, you'll have a few disco beats for your bucket of grooves. Your beat library. For your drumming toolbox. Now that sounds weird. To keep any set list interesting. Coming up. Yeah, let's use that last one and get rid of the other one. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. And if you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. I recently made a video about conga patterns for disco beats. As I dug deep into the origins of disco, I learned a lot about Earl Young, the drummer credited with creating the disco drum beat. You know, a lot of drummers become great at their instrument, but very few author a dance beat that changes music forever like Earl did. The disco drum beat has a few key parts. The first one is the four on the floor kick drum pattern. This means you're playing a kick drum on each of the four down beats in a measure. The second part is the snare drum backbeat on beats two and four, which is standard for a lot of rock and funk beats. The third part is the Upbeats on the hi-hat, and this, this is where a lot of the variation can happen to provide different feels and sounds for different phrases in a song. And as you'll see in one of the examples here, you're not always limited to playing upbeats on the hi-hat. So let's take a look at a few examples and break them down. The upbeats in this example are slurps, and in terms of hi-hat technique, I play the slurp with the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the cymbal. One, two, three, four. If you're getting value out of this video, hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. This hi-hat variation is a little busier than the first one. It doesn't have the upbeat accents notated, but you'll, you, you should play around with this rhythm and, and try different accent patterns. If you want more information on drum set styles, search Google for rhythm notes and drum set styles, as well as anything else drumming related you might be interested in. The next example combines the cymbal variation concepts from the first two examples. This example features a snare variation too. It falls on the last 16th of beat two and really adds a funky skip in the middle of the pattern. And for the final example, this is Earl Young's groove on The Sound of Philadelphia by Mother, Father, Sister, Brother. This is the beat that I used to make the other examples, which are just individual concepts from this pattern. And one of the things that really brings clarity to this beat is the snare drum accent as a rim shot. So that means the 16th note that immediately follows is an unaccented stroke and it's played only with the tip of the stick on the head of the drum.
What? Huh? I look like Zach Galifianakis? Come on. That's crazy. Probably true. In this episode of Rhythm Notes Between Two Ferns Edition, if you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by our YouTube, and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.